There are so many patients that come to me out of frustration having uh, been treated chronically with 7, 10, 14 days of antibiotics. Many patients have been extremely grateful to have a much more precise diagnosis of the true pathogen and then being able to uh, treat it appropriately with confidence that the, there is susceptibility for the bacteria. It's extremely helpful in identifying potential gene resistance. So we truly as clinicians have much more confidence picking a, a specific antibiotic knowing uh, confidently that it will work. It's proved a lot of, of what we've suspected all along that there are many different pathogens and we probably weren't covering the patients appropriately at all an from an antibiotic standpoint. Uh, it's also taught me the role of viruses and funguses in my chronic sinus patients as well. Being able to see those species is very valuable. It is starting to change my opinion and many other opinions on what are the common pathogens in a chronic sinus infection. We've traditionally been taught about the big three bacteria the H flu and the strep pneumo and the Moraxella, but I think with this uh, technology used on a routine basis, we may identify many, many more, perhaps some that are even more important than those three that we traditionally have blamed. There's really no downside to doing this. It's simple to do in the, the normal workflow and throughput of clinic. It's inordinately valuable for patients in improving how we take care of them uh, there really is no barrier to adopting this technology as standard practice. I see current and future changes in, in treatment based on this technology that is really not available any other way.